Hello, I'm Connie Wong and welcome to Credit Matters TV. Joining me today in our Singapore studio is Ivan Tan, who will talk about the credit vulnerabilities in the Indonesia banking system. Welcome, Ivan. Thanks, Connie. Ivan, can you tell us that the key factors of the rising credit risk in the Indonesian bank? Sure, Connie. Uh, there will be three main factors. First and foremost is the very high loans growth that we have seen for several past consecutive years. It has been exceeding 20% since 2007. Bearing in mind that all this growth is taking place in a banking system where the risk management system is generally poor. Mm. The second factor pertains to uh, structural weaknesses in the Indonesia banking system. Indonesia remains a low-income economy despite the very rapid credit growth that they have. And we believe at the current income level, the ability of the private sector borrowers to service their loan would remain constrained. And the last and but not the least is uh, government intervention. There has been recent government regulation that requires banks to increasingly lend towards what we perceive as higher risk sector. Mm. Uh, transparency in this segment tends to be poorer and credit risk tends to be higher, especially in the event of a downturn. Are there any signs or indicators that uh, the credit quality is deteriorating? Mm. Yes, there are uh, emerging signs. The most uh, apparent one is the rising special mentioned loans in the system. Now, special mentioned loans are loans that are already in default, but less than 90 days in default. Mm. So technically, uh, by regulatory treatment, they are not considered as non-performing loans. But nonetheless, we have seen special mentioned loans increase since uh, 2011. And this suggests to us that the borrower repayment ability has deteriorated. And we believe that is a leading indicator that loan portfolio quality might be constrained in future. Mm -hmm. So what is the outlook for the Indonesian banking sector then? We believe that loans growth in the Indonesia banking sector will continue to remain high for at least the next two years. And this will continue to test the uh, resilience and risk management system of the banks. That say, we are not forecasting any significant deterioration in the non-performing loans of the banking sector. We believe that uh, borrower repayment ability will continue to be supported by healthy economic growth in the system as well as a prevailing low interest rate environment. As such, we continue to stand by our stable outlook on the Indonesia banking system. Thanks very much, for Ivan, for your insight. Thanks for watching the Credit Matters TV and I hope to see you next time.